Have you heard what Aristotle said? He said that we are what we repeatedly do. Therefore, excellence then is not an act but a habit. Hello guys, Larissa here. Today, what I want to talk about is how to change your life by changing your habits. If we want to be successful, if we want to be happy, if we want to be great, we have to develop the day-to-day -day habits that allow these things to happen. Excellence isn't this one thing you do one time. It's a way of living. And by understanding that, it is very important to change your habits first if you really want to change your life. How are you going to do that? I will tell you. Just don't skip this video. Did you know that on average, we think 60 to 70,000 thoughts a day? And out of those 60 to 70,000 thoughts we think, about 90% of them are recycled from the day before. Which means that on a daily basis, we're creating the same type of experiences. We're viewing the same way, thinking the same way. So for constantly doing the same thing, we're going to get the same result. If we want to have a new experience, we need to change the way we think. One of the easiest ways to change habits is to make something that you do daily. Because the more consistently you do it, the easier it becomes. The first main step to change your habit is to change your environment. Knowing that 60 to 70,000 thoughts a day and 90% of them are recycled from the day before. It's no question that most of that comes from the fact that you habitually do in the same type of environment. You get up doing the same thing every day, you go to the same place, you talk to the same people, and have similar conversations. And this creates the same type of experiences because you're in the same environment. So what to do? Do something that you haven't done before. Get outside of your normal realm of comfort and your normal realm of daily activities. For example, you want to lose weight and you never go to a gym? Then change your environment, go to a gym. The second step towards changing your habit is to start small. For example, this happens all the time. Really big things that they're gonna do. They're going to start working out. They're going to lose weight. They're gonna make all this money. Having all these ambitions all of a sudden. There's nothing wrong with that. But the way that really make it stick is to make it something that you start small with. Instead of saying, I'm gonna work out for two hours every day for five days, that is less likely to happen if you don't go to the gym right now. What will be more likely is if you will say, I'm gonna drive to the gym and do a little cardio and then leave. I'm gonna do walking for 10 minutes. That is more powerful because it's a more attainable goal. If you can do that consistently, then it becomes easier for you to do a little bit more. Maybe after a couple of months, you're going an hour a day or going five times a week consistently. The third step is you need to be responsible. Hold yourself to what you say you're gonna do. You can also ask a friend or a family member that check in with you maybe every week. To see how you're doing this is very powerful because you hold accountable not only to yourself but to other people if you are responsible enough and you do something consistently enough it becomes easier and easier because you're making new neural connections you're wiring thousands of connections in your brain the more consistently that you think your new way the more you help them define yourself don't be a victim to your thoughts don't be a victim to your habits Make new habits based on how you want to be. Visualize yourself doing those things and then take action on it. I hope this video added some value to your life today. Have a nice day and see you tomorrow. Bye! Thank you for watching! Don't forget to subscribe!